benchmarks. How about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. And if but, the benchmarks yeah. aren't met, would you say crank down more, or would you say um, maybe we go in a different direction? We need to, the localities need broader uh, authority to not just crack down on illegal immigrants, uh, but to crack down on the employers in particular who are hiring them and exploiting them, I might add, in the first place. Right now, localities, we don't have that power. We don't have the power to define a landlord for hiring uh, and exploiting illegal immigrants. We should have that. And I think, you know, there's something to, you know, I think most of us uh, who feel very strongly that the law needs to be enforced, that we need to do something about this, we also recognize that just because somebody's an illegal immigrant doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It doesn't mean that at all. In fact, you know, many of us, I, I feel, if, if my family was living in squalor in Latin America and I had an opportunity to come to the United to, and I had the opportunity to come to America and, you know, and make more money and send it back to them, I might very well do the, the same thing. Um, and so it's important that we not blame, uh, you know, people per se but we blame uh, our government for failing to enforce the law. Mm -hmm. We blame the employers who are hiring illegal Im immigrants in the first place and are essentially exploiting them, and not only exploiting them, but making the rest of us pay for the cost of that exploitation in emergency rooms um, and in, in depressed uh, wages for the working class. And uh, so that's where the blame belongs. Mm -hmm. And if this problem gets worse, the persons that should be held accountable are the President of the United States who's failed to enforce the law and a Congress that is failing to give the resources to Immigration and Customs Enforcement to do its job. It should not be laid on illegal immigrants per se, but at the same time, that doesn't mean we shouldn't as local, enforcement, local law enforcement enforce the law. We need to enforce the law. And if somebody violates the law, coming into America illegally, working here illegally, and then commits a crime on top of it, we need to enforce the law, period.